Hey, how's it going on guys? This is Shehab and this is my review of HP Pavilion 15. So starting with the design, it has a metallic look to it. It looks like it has a silver finish to it, but actually it's just a color top on a plastic. So whole construction is plastic and this is why it feels uh, lighter than some uh, metal constructed laptops. But the paint job is fantastic and it looks very gorgeous. At the back of the laptop you'll find the HP logo with a um, mirror like surrounding circle. At the left side you'll find the power jack and then the LAN port, then one USB 2 and one USB 3.0 port. And underneath those USB ports you will find your card reader and after that you will find your optical drive. The design is unconventional here so they put the heat sinks at the right side of the laptop and then you'll find your HDMI port, another USB 3.0 and your headphone and microphone combo jack. Then your drive activity and power activity LEDs. The keyboard is nice, it has nice travel and feedback and the keyboard is full size keyboard so you have the number pads which is nice. The whole trackpad is clickable, it clicks better at the bottom portion than the top. I mean the bottom feels very free and very nice to operate, the top feels very steep. Overall it's a very well constructed beautiful looking laptop. Now take a look at the hardware, it has a 5th gen Intel Core i7 5500U CPU with 2.4GHz clock speed, 4GB of RAM, NVIDIA GeForce 940M GPU with 2GB of VRAM, 1TB mechanical drive. But later on we'll find out that is it a well optimized workstation laptop or just a gaming laptop. Now let's take a look at the display and the speaker quality. It has a 15.6 inch LED panel with a resolution of 1366 into 768 pixels and being LED display it looks quite good. The contrast level is on good point and compared to my ProBook 450Z1 the display looks quite similar. But if you compare the display with a monitor then you will find a lot of difference. So we are hooking up our laptop with a um, Dell S2240L IPS panel. It looks like the colors are washed out and the display looks really pretty cold and cool. The contrast is low than the IPS panel. I mean the color is pretty washed out as you can see. In the monitor it looks like um, a real red and in the uh, laptop screen it looks like a pink color um, which is not true to life. The laptop monitor is pretty bluish. Nowadays these laptops got really good contrast ratio. I mean the blacks are much better than the previous laptop I have used or seen and the white is also quite good but still the bluish tint is all over the place though for that the white looks like uh, more white but it's actually not it actually bluish white and which is um, not a accurate color the colors looked pretty washed out i mean look at the greens and look at the skin tone and for colors look at the yellows and for more color comparison i am bringing you to this flower garden look at the all the reds and the yellows it completely looks like the laptop screen is completely washed out. Nonetheless, we are comparing a LED laptop panel with a IPS desktop monitor. So that's not a fair comparison. And at the end of the day, in this price point, it's a good screen. And now this figure quality, I mean, they are not loud enough, they are not clear enough, and I'm not enjoying listening to this speaker. Yeah, I mean, it can get work done, like um, watching a movie on the fly and things like that but the speaker quality and the sound quality could have been much more better than what it is like this is to position yourself now before the settlement i mean we were literally putting clothes on these kids backs and here comes this jerk off and now the performance time and here i'm running the um, gta5 uh, i know a lot of people would ask about the gta5 if it can run gta5 smoothly or not and as you can see it running GTA 5 with a fairly good amount of FPS or frame per second and this is a very usable FPS or frame per second and we are using a medium gaming settings and you can call it a good budget gaming laptop and now comes the productivity parts this is running a video editing software professional video editing software like Adobe Premiere Pro and as you can tell, the Mercury playback engine is not uh, a GPU escalated by default. So I'm changing the settings and see what happens. 
and even after changing it says the GPU is not listed so here is the problem if you want to edit videos in Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects you will need those GPU escalated performance to do works smoothly but this graphics CPU the 940M is not listed so what it does is it's not actually communicating with the Adobe um, systems it's a good graphics card but it's not actually communicating with the Adobe Premiere Pro and for that when I am trying to um, edit a video as you can see the scrubbing is not smooth it's choppy it's not it's not actually fairly usable yeah I mean you can get work done with problems but not how a productive man do his works so yeah I um, chopped some of my footage and and put that in timeline and I'm going to export this 8 second video in 1080p resolution and see um, how much time it's needs and as you can see only 8 seconds of video takes roughly 20 or 22 seconds without adding any layers at all so that makes it not a very good productive or, or more precisely video productive machine right out of the box this laptop is not a good productive machine but I have seen there is a simple way where you can um, hack the system and make the graphics card communicate with the adobe system find the solution online so if you are buying a laptop for editing videos in adobe premiere or after effects make sure to come over this place and see if the graphics processor is listed in this list or not if it's not this is not a good buy other than that uh, doing the simple works um, like watching movies browsing net all those kind of general day-to-day -day use this laptop handles those kind of jobs pretty well i mean no lag no glitch not at all is it a laptop for me definitely no because i am a video productive man and i do a lot of work in adobe premiere pro and after effects is it a laptop for you if you are a gamer definitely it's a very good budget gaming laptop and for productivity i think you should look somewhere else or if you just don't work in adobe premiere pro or after effects at all then this could be a good buy is it a good value gaming or workstation laptop i think at this point the answer is quite clear it's definitely a good value gaming laptop but it's also a very good workstation if you are not just using adobe products or if you can hack and list the graphics card in the system that was my review of hp pavilion 15 so thanks for watching guys subscribe stay tuned and i'll see you guys in the next one